Welcome, Scorpio. This is the Phoenix Tarot Tribe. I am your reader, Nick. Welcome, loves. Come on in. Have a seat. If this video found you, there are messages in here for you. And you may be a part of our soul tribe. So hang out for a while. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. These messages could resonate currently. It could be current energy. It could be past energy. It could be future predictive as well. So some messages resonate. Some messages do not. So please just, I just ask that you don't force it. That is all my loves. Those of you that are new, welcome. Those of you that are returning, welcome back loves. I missed y'all. Okay. So hopefully everybody is happy, healthy, and well. I think that was two and not three. All right, Scorpio, let's see what Spirit wants you to know. What is the situation going on currently that is of the highest priority? So, let's see, let's see. Spirit, guides, and ancestors, show us what we need to know to make decisions for our highest good. Amen. We got upside down, baby. Okay. So, things are topsy-turvy in your life. Something is being turned upside down, baby. It's giving, ugh, it really is giving the tower. There may be a tower coming. You may be in a tower, but things are upside down. Or maybe you're looking at something from the wrong perspective. I don't know. We have emotional baggage. Is this you, Scorpio? Are you hanging on to things that you need to let go of? Oh, don't do that, baby, because then you're going to be old and stressed out, looking old, and I don't I don't want that for you. All right, spirit, there's nothing wrong with being old. My parents were, well, my father was older. We have beauty sleep in reverse. We have, yeah, beauty sleep in reverse. Okay, so someone's not sleeping. Are you not sleeping because of what you think? I don't know. Okay, but Spirit is telling you, tell it like it is. So something may be on your mind. You may need to speak up, speak your truth to someone and tell it like it is. You you may need to speak to a multiple uh, someones because there's one, two, three, four mics out here, y'all. Okay, so I don't know. I don't, I don't like to repeat myself. So yeah, give me mics and I'm okay with that. I will repeat myself. It's just not my fave thing to do. It's not my favorite thing to do. I hate to repeat myself because I feel like you heard me the first time. You're trying to play with my intelligence. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Spirit, tell us about this upside down. Give us more on this. What is going on here? What is this situation for Scorpio? What should Scorpio know about the situation? You need boundaries. Okay, I do feel like this is definitely giving tower energy. Something is changing. There's a disruption because when you got something upside down, baby, that is a major disruption. I hate to be the, the one to say it like something, something needs to change. All right, so tell us about emotional baggage. What is this emotional baggage? Where is this coming from? Oh, 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 okay, baby, somebody's doing love spells on you to keep you emotionally imbalanced. Okay, now I understand. So someone's life is upside down because somebody's working on you doing, that's crazy work for real. <laughs> uh, Baby, listen. What did Libra have? Call back your energy boundaries. You could be a cusper. You could have Libra in your chart. Go watch Libra. Because ain't no way I went to dinner and prayed and and decided that <laughs> I was coming back to do y'all's reading and listen. 444. Four, four. It could be somebody you're in a connection with, y'all. I'm not going to lie to you. Somebody that you have stability or should have had stability with a divine energy. Okay. A feminine energy. I said divine. So somebody tries to act divine. Because this clearly says lady slash goddess slash feminine. Um, 
this could be you not getting sleep. It could be this person not getting sleep. And what I just heard, this person ain't getting sleep because they up doing spells on you in the middle of the night. Oh. Y'all, it gets no clearer than this. This is mirror. Somebody's doing mirror magic on you. It says scrying mirror. What does that mean? To watch. Shadows. Someone is in the shadows. Yeah. Definitely get with one with your spirit guides, your ancestors. Pray. You, if you don't do nothing every day, get up and pray for your protection. Pray for your energy. Spirit, I recall, uh, I rescind. Return to sender. I rescind any energy that is not mine. Someone may be portraying you as weak, emotionally unavailable, unstable, because they're doing spell work on you to make you cast that cast that illusion. I do see 555 five, five on the timer to cast that illusion, and now I see it on the phone, right? Somebody doesn't want you to be your best, whatever that is for you. With these boundaries, this could be because you set boundaries with someone, love. I do see that as well because it says upside down. You may have shaken or jilted someone by finally setting the boundaries that should have been there from the beginning. Okay? And this person, they're pissed off. So now they're doing spell work on you. And they want you to carry their emotional baggage. Oh. Mm. Okay. Okay. Someone may study Wiccan, but you might not know. Spirit, give us tarot on this. What does what's we need energy for Scorpio? Okay, well, they came out, they were supposed to come out. This is not your burden. That's what I said. This is not your energy with the ten of wands in reverse. This is not your energy. This is somebody else's energy. Somebody that betrayed you. But you're past that betrayal. You are okay. Let me make sure my deck is upright. And my deck is upright. And look what's at the bottom of the deck, y'all. The sun. Mm, the sun. That is beautiful. You could have children with this person. Because most of the time, the sun card has a baby or... Does it have a baby? I don't know, y'all. I got so many decks. Hold on. I think it do have a baby. Let me... Hold on, y'all. Because I, I need to know. Because right now... I am just troubled that it's coming out this clear. I'm not troubled. I'm just like, I'm full. I'm flabbergasted. It's just like, mm, I know you lied. Where is the sun? Let me look at the sun. Because I know I got one that has a baby on a horse. And I think that might be the original Rider weight, But I'm not for sure. And I don't want to lie. Because that's not something that I do. I was raised better than that. Now... Okay, love, it's only going to take me a second. Stay with me. Don't play with me. I appreciate you. And I appreciate everybody that supports the channel, too. Yes. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a baby on a horse. That's what I thought. Okay, so like I said, you could have children. You could have children with this person because the original just has a baby, but this one got like two older kids, so there could be three children involved. All right, we got... The Six of Swords in reverse, baby. Listen, what does that mean? Somebody is doing spells so that you won't move forward. All right, Spirit, who is this doing this shit? Because clearly this been irritating me and we only eight minutes into this reading. We gonna ask because I wouldn't let to pull this deck out for nothing. I just heard Ja Rule. Bitch, I ain't doing this shit for nothing. I'm real. Okay, so somebody is pretending like they're real. Or trying to convince you that they're real or maybe it's you that's real and they don't want to let you go I'm not sure y'all put people where they go at the bottom of the deck I see the page of cups there's a fish in that cup you know who this is you arguing with this person and they need to heal the high priestess to the five of swords conflict high priestess five of swords Herman in reverse somebody that don't want to change don't want to heal okay that's who the fuck this is mm. spirit give us one for good measure oh yeah a Capricorn that don't want you to be single 
That's shitty. That's shitty, y'all. I don't know who that who that for. Ten ten endings. Somebody that you're very generous with. You may take care of this person. With the six of pentacles. But they hanging on to you because they don't want you to be single. That's tragic. I just heard that's trash. Okay. Say less, baby. Say less. All right, Spirit. Let's keep going. All right, Scorpio. This this is a... Uh, this thing gave me a headache, y'all. I think my blood pressure flew up. I'm too full to be out here like this. This is... We still in birthday season, baby. Having these birthday dinners, hanging out with family. I had a good time. I did. So maybe that's something that you need to do. Um, spend your time with other people. even Or stay to yourself and heal. I don't know, baby. Something, But there needs to be boundaries. And if you don't know who this is, everybody needs boundaries. I see 11-11 on the timer. This may be in regards to a twin flame union. I can't make this shit up, y'all. I'm about in tears. I'm saying it might be about a twin flame union as I'm shuffling the two of cups comes out. It's about a fucking twin flame union. Somebody's an asshole. But it's cool. God got it. God got it. Y'all, I'm not doing that shit. Because you're going to have strength. Leo energy. You can have Leo in your chart. Something can happen during Leo season. And then we have the Knight of Swords. There's a plan. They watching you. They have a plan to try to keep you from your fucking twin. But guess what? I don't see that happening. Yeah. Because somebody already know with the high priestess. Cancerian Pisces Syrian energy. Somebody knows. And they know to listen to their own intuition. So this person that is trying to turn your life upside down that you set boundaries with, they ain't getting nowhere. They can watch them mirrors all day. Baby, listen. I can't make it up. Somebody is... Oh my gosh. We got the mirror, the scrying mirror to the witch, which is somebody feel like they got power. And then we got... Somebody's working on your fertility because of what? A union. And what is spirit telling you to do? Cleanse your goddamn self. Cleanse yourself. That could be prayer, but wash yourself. Wash your sins away. You can say a cleansing prayer while you're in the shower. Lord, cleanse me from any energy that is not mine. As that water washes down the drain, or if you're taking a bath, as that water goes out, Lord, I release anything that's not mine. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, this person is trying to hex you. Okay? And hexing and, and banish, banishment and hexing is not what y'all think. Sometimes it could just be somebody speaking negatively on your life, wishing ill on you in their thought process because you set boundaries with them. So I do feel like with all this coming out the way it came out, I do feel like this is someone that actually practices the dark craft. This ain't no by accident type situation. Spirit, tell us about emotional baggage with the Wiccan Reed and the ethos, the hangman. You gonna, at some point, you're going to see things differently. We got Pisces, Pisces out here again. This is Piscean energy. You could have Pisces in your chart. This person can have Pisces in their chart. But there's something that you need to see to get beyond this. And I feel like this is a test, a spiritual test for you to grow as a individual. Because the twin flame journey is not about your twin. It's about you, baby. Let's talk about it. And not everybody has a twin, so some of this won't relate to y'all. This could just be the energy where somebody is speaking bad on you. Somebody, Somebody's finances. It's something about finances. Somebody's doing work on your finances with this king of coins. We're asking about what's going on with these spells and this emo emotional baggage, y'all. This could be somebody you got kids with. Didn't I say that earlier? The six of cups? We didn't see two kids out here multiple times. It could be two to three kids or five kids. Two plus three is five. So, y'all, listen. One thing for sure, two things for certain. Spirit will protect the own. Whoever is in the right, I do see 1444, whoever is in the right in this scenario will be protected. I do feel like there are spirit guides and angels that are all around to help us through this. This is, this is scary, but it's not scary if you know what you're doing. 
the nine of cups someone hold on we we gonna ask someone could be definitely overdoing this i feel like somebody's continually doing spells to keep you off kilter to keep your life upside down so you won't go towards your twin we're gonna clarify that in a second spirit give us one more somebody that you giving to the six of pentacles we've seen it's the six of coins in this deck somebody that always got their god dang hand out looking for a hand out like come on we got the six of, okay the page of wands we got the six of pentacles to the six of pentacles this is somebody that you give to they they are abusing your generosity by doing spell work you may be giving this person money for them to pay someone to do these spells on you quiet as cat quiet as cat y'all people be i'm not gonna say that because my mama told me if you ain't got nothing to say you really shouldn't and that might be over the line because this is someone you may have children with so i'm not going we can't help our karmic partners they were they signed up to be karmic in this life just like we signed up for whatever destiny we signed up for in our past life they signed up to be karmics okay so we have to respect that but we got to grow above it and see things differently spirit tell us about this nine of cups what is this about <sighs> the cards are repeating love you got to see things differently so you might feel like, oh, this person that wouldn't do that. Da, 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 da. That's what I just heard. They wouldn't do that. They don't know nothing about that. Shit. They've been working. <laughs> I hate to say it like that. They've been working at it, baby. Working hard to fuck up your life. Working hard. Manifesting <laughs> your downfall. Because we're asking about this nine of cups for this for these stupid ass spells. I ain't gonna lie. But it's time for you to move forward. You'll still have victory and success. Moving forward. Cancerian energy. The chariot moves forward. It don't stop, baby. It don't turn around. So spirit is telling you, keep moving forward. Somebody wants to see your life upside down. Maybe their life is upside down because you walked away. I do get that sense of someone walking away. I don't see the eight of cups out here. But somebody you posted boundaries with. Like, listen, we do this. We're inside this boundary. And that's the way it's going to be. Spirit, tell us about this beauty sleep in reverse and this feminine energy. Yeah. This was somebody's plan. Somebody planned this. This is this is not just new. They didn't just wake up today. And look, my loves. Didn't I call out Capricorn earlier? What do you hold? A earth? This could be the earth sign. And the other ones, I know that they hold a, a earth in the, is it the three of ones? I think. I think in the three of wands, there's a, but I've never seen it like that. Somebody definitely planned this. Did I say they were pleating? Because this is the magician again, love. Yes, yeah, an anime card, but it still got the same power, if not more powerful. I feel like somebody is definitely doing magic, doing spells. Because when you think of the magician, what are they doing? They're manifesting something. And little buddy got all kinds of shit popping off. On this, on this card, they have, what, the sword. They got all the elements. They got the pinnacle, the sword, the cup, the wand. And then they're manifesting with their hand up, right? But in this one, he got his cup. He got his wand. He got his sword in his hand. We got some pentacles. We got water fire. We got stars. Yeah. Somebody could be doing something during moon cycles. All kinds of shit. This, this is whack. It's whack, baby. He's holding the cup and he's holding a sword. So air and cancer, uh, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So Scorpio, you out here, Scorpio. That's what I see here. I feel like those two are very significant. This one don't have a table. So somebody might not even have an altar or they might have a hidden altar. Understand this. 
Just because you don't see it don't mean it's not real. Because the Bible says the faith of a mustard seed. Y'all think it don't work? Everything has polarity to it. So there's a positive and there's a negative. Just like we have faith of the mustard seed in good things, somebody has faith of the mustard seed in horrible, horrific things as well. We ain't going to play this game like at this big age. We don't know that. We do. And we're going to adjust accordingly. We're going to protect ourselves. I'm going to take that one because it, it popped, but it didn't pop. Sure, give us one, please. Hmm. I love this. I love this card, y'all. This is the Nine of Wands. And the other one... The soldier is all beat up. But look at baby. Baby, I got to tell you. You're doing it like a champ. You're doing it like a champ. Y'all see the balance. Somebody wants your life to be imbalanced. Somebody wants you to carry this emotional baggage. And you out here just, eh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Somebody could have fire in their chart too. Baby, mm -mm -mm, that's funny. I love the vibes. So, because you're doing all that, you're working on you with this Eight of Pentacles, right? You working, you may be working, physically working a lot, but <laughs> you balancing your life and they're trying to turn your life upside down, got this person in a head with the Eight of Swords, baby. They don't even know what to do. They don't know what to do. How, how can I attack them again? How can I do it differently? How can I make this work? So somebody, I'm here in return to sender. I haven't said it, but I'm here in return to sender. Somebody is not successful in the things that they are doing, right? Someone from your past, and it's crazy because this, this is definitely dirty work, baby. Spirit, give me just one last one for this. This shit is dirty. Baby, <laughs> they over there in their head. You over here healing. Oh, I love the vibes. I love the vibes. And keep going after the things you want with the Knight of Wands. Baby, we got the Knight of Wands to the Two of Swords. You done made that decision to ha find your happiness and do what you need to do with the King of Cups. Yeah, it's definitely emotionally balanced. And somebody doesn't want you to be emotionally balanced with this emotional baggage. They trying to put their, uh, oh, I heard they trying to put their childhood problems on you. That's crazy. Okay, so somebody has not healed from their childhood. But we have emotional baggage and we got the King of Cups. So, baby, you are emotionally... I feel like you, you have healed from something. This person could have done something to you or it could be something from your past that you just needed to heal from. And that was the catalyst. They started doing spiritual work on you. So, boom, you had to heal, right? Because what we going to do? What we going to do? We going to heal, that's what we do, baby. We are the Phoenix. 23-23 on the timer. Hold on, love. I'm about to pull an angel because somebody needs to know that you are protected. If you don't know, you are protected. You know, I used to be... I, when I first started watching Tarot, I was like, why do they have so many different decks? Because when Spirit tells you to touch something, you're supposed to. Because you don't know who's going to get this video, who needs this, who needs to know. You're protected. I do feel Archangel Raphael with us. So if something is about children, just know that your your children are safe. Your children are protected. And that is the angel you call on if you want to make sure that they stay safe. Archangel Raphael is right there for you. Spirit, can we get an angel, please? My baby's waiting on me. We supposed to be having family night again. <laughs> All right. We got uh, Zadriel. We have Archangel Zadriel. Destiny, pride, consciousness, forgiveness. Forgive this person because they're a piece of work. And they haven't done their healing, right? This is purple. So the pur color purple is very significant. The number 12, baby, significant. Is this my reading too? Because purple is my favorite color. My birthday is the 12th. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We got abundance at the bottom of the deck, baby. Somebody is definitely trying to steal your abundance or block your abundance is what I just heard. But you got to have faith, optimism, and 
it's a 13. So we got a 12 and a 13. So something is growing. Something is growing in this in this situation, in this scenario. I'm not putting those back just yet. I don't know why. I wanted to do that. All right, loves. Let's, let's go ahead and get some of it. Because I got these fun little cards. I thought they was about to be... I thought it was about to be a fun little time. I mean, not that tarot is always fun. It's not. But sometimes it can really be fun. And I love being here with y'all. I mean, because we're all getting enlightened. Some of these some of these readings actually are for future. Some of these readings are for me. Some of these pe pe some of these readings are past situations people have made it through. And it's a confirmation that yes, you you were the wounded warrior. With the nine of wands, you made it through some things. That's in our future energy, but you'll make it through here. I see that. Spirit, can we get some messages? All right. Come on for Scorpio. We got one. We'll get three of these, two, three. There we go. At the bottom of the deck, we got smile, smile more, even more. So this person hates to see you happy. Do them a favor continue to smile we have don't do this today if you don't want to right with the owl that just don't want to don't bother me so yeah we have nature is your ally some of y'all get some lavender for your own psychic protection get some lavender and just put it in a bottle a spray bottle with some rosemary spray. I spray my house plants with it. Um, I do spray like around the house. But lavender is good for so much more than just psychic protection. It, it wars off what spiders, ants, stuff like that as well. So if you're seeing a lot of little creatures, that is also another inclination that someone is doing crazy work on you. Um, tomorrow is another day. So anything that isn't accomplished today, baby, leave it for tomorrow. Spirit is telling you that it's okay to leave it for tomorrow. Don't deplete yourself. And somebody might really be doing stuff to have you too depleted to go towards your twin. Ugh. Mm. Mm -mm. Y'all listen. I appreciate y'all making it through here. Because this, this feels like this has been a battle. Someone definitely has been a battle dealing with somebody trying to get away from them they don't want you to go <laughs> they putting all their problems on you with this ten of wands in reverse they betraying you while you trying to take care of them with the uh with the ten of swords in reverse you didn't heal you didn't heal from a lot that is in your past situation sir can we get some messages mm, i'm gonna get one more two came out all right, so something is significant about threes. We have be in the present and dream of the future, right? So we have focus on love. <laughs> yeah, because that's what they don't want you to do, baby. Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. And you probably did look for your the good in this person. But I feel like Spirit is telling you, focus on loving yourself right now. Focus on that. Get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love. So, I feel like that might be that twin. Maybe you don't know this person. We have love endures, okay? So, if this is a situation where there's another partner that you should be with or something of the sort, communicate. That's what I'm getting, communicate. There's a lion in this, a lion in this card, which definitely gives pride but it gives strength, right? There are flowers in this card that gives beauty and delicacy. And there's two, two people and what looks like an angel. So something is protected. Love does not give up. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. And there's a moon, there's a moon there too. So this could be something that's hidden where you feel like you'll never fall in love. You'll never get love. That's not it. You'll never have nobody love you the way you want to be loved. I don't think that's it. Somebody's doing work on you to keep you emotionally effed up. So get out of that train of thought. You can have anything that you want to manifest. 
right? It's like they out here manifesting your demise, your downfall. You could be manifesting your prosperity. You don't necessarily have to do anything to people that are doing these kind of wicked things because there are healers out here like us that definitely do return to cinders in a heartbeat. But you can definitely always pray for yourself, loves. I say this too much for y'all. If you don't understand that you are the most powerful tool, your mind is the most powerful tool that you have. I think my love is calling me. She is... Because I didn't have plans to come down here and do a reading, y'all. When I come to my office, they know not to bother me, so it could be family here. But we're at the end of the reading anyway. All right, love. All right. All right. Can we get some closing messages for my Scorpios? We got three. At the bottom of the deck, we got make the effort. So whoever you're supposed to be with, love, whoever it is that you have feelings for, make that effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. So if spirit is telling you, try it, you've already set boundaries with somebody, just have healthy boundaries with the people in your life, period. Not just people that you're trying to cut off. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So there is a relationship somewhere that you should be giving a chance. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. What did I tell y'all? Communication, baby. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So maybe you have not done that. Or maybe it's time to do it again. I don't know, love. I wasn't there. But there is somebody that in your, is in your life that is codependent. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Somebody is codependent on your energy, and that's why they're doing spells to keep you so they can continue to draw from your good energy. Baby, listen, this shit is very clear, straight to the point. I don't know what to do aside from pray for y'all and wish y'all strength in this scenario. But I see y'all already got it, baby, because y'all doing this. I heard um, T Grizzly, I can do this shit with no effort. If you have heard these songs that I call out during these readings, they're not just because I'm thinking about the songs. They pop in my head because they go with the reading. Spirit is giving me guidance. Now, I don't, I do see the age bracket, but music caters to all ages. So when I say these things, that's why. All right. But that's definitely, I can do this shit with no effort. As soon as I touched that card earlier, I heard that song and I just heard it again. So I said it. Sometimes I don't say the songs because I'm really in depth in channeling, but it is what it is. Okay, loves. I appreciate you all being here. I love me some y'all. I send extra love, extra light, and I block anything that is not for your highest good. And when two touch and agree, there he is also, whoever he is for you, whatever that means for you, whatever positive energy that you call into your life, I'm standing with you in prayer, okay? I love everything about you. You are an, an amazing individual. This too shall pass, all right? I send you extra love, but... Anything that you need from me is down in the description box, loves. I wish you health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance above all things, baby. I wish you love. I see 3333 three, three, three on the timer as I call it. All right. I love you all.